Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, I am Naquan Jordan, the protagonist, and in this video we're going to be looking at Leonardo AI's new character reference feature. So character reference allows you to create images with a consistent character in each image. We're going to start off here on the image creation screen and you just need to click on this little button here which is basically the add an image button and if you go here you'll see character reference here it'll pop up with your uploads or your generations and i actually am showing you some of the images that i've already created i'm going to go back to some of the older generations and we're going to do some more stuff of chloe and so i'm going to use I'll use this as my base image or this one. I'll use this one. So this will be my base image. Click on confirm. And then you see the image pops up right here. So if we click on that, we have a few options. Uh, this one right here is the strength of the reference. And so I'm going to go high. So high is better if you really want to force the AI to put that character in the image. And then you can just type whatever your prompt wants to be. So I am actually going to do a gamble and do a random prompt. So I'm going to let it create a random prompt and then I will just click on generate. So I've left all the images, I mean, all the options the same as the actual image. So the options that I use to create this image is all of this over here. And so the new image is going to be the exact same style as the old image. Obviously, you want to make sure you do things like that in order to keep the reference good. And now we're going to pause it and see what it does. And here are the new images. And one of the interesting thing is, of course, in the prompt, since it is a random prompt, it doesn't really talk about a woman at all, just a towering figure. But it actually still puts Chloe in the images. And so regardless of what you put in the prompt, it will find a way to put that image or that character into the prompt. So I'm going to actually do another random and generate some new images while we're looking through the ones that we've already generated. So this one created um, like a little butterfly effect with Chloe as the main figure. And you can see she looks exactly the same in pretty much every image it even made some changes to her makeup but the face structure is still the same the hair is um the same hairstyle just different lengths but it's still pretty good like it looks exactly like the same character same eyebrows same face uh shape just different makeup so that is pretty cool and now we'll take a look at these new images and see what they do all right, so the new images have popped up and I'm going to go ahead and generate one more random prompt and get those going while we take a look at these new images. So this, this looks really cool. So once again, her makeup is different, but the face structure is still the same. The hairstyle is very similar. It's um, not exactly the same, like this one's not as curly, but it still looks like her. It totally looks like Chloe. So this is a very, very cool new feature. I have not played around with clothing yet. I don't know how, um, how good it is with actually keeping the clothing with each image, but the face of the character looks really good. I think her earrings, yeah, so her earrings change as well, but the face and the hair style, it stays the same and does look like almost a completely different type of image, but it's still Chloe in the image. So this is a very, very cool feature. So we will, oh, and there's the new ones already popped up. So now we have her wearing a hood. She kind of looks like a, um, almost like a magic user from an RPG. But yeah, that looks like her. Her makeup has changed, but her hairstyle still very similar. The face still very similar. Eyebrows, everything. Eye color still all the same, but a completely different outfit, different background. 
So this is really, really cool. It's an incredible feature. It makes creating consistent characters so much easier than the previous ways that it's been done. So that was pretty much it. I just wanted to show off these new, uh, this new feature from Leonardo AI. I think it is an incredible feature. It's something that we've been wanting for a long time. It's nice to see that someone finally able to was finally able to bring it out. So thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.